Hi, my name is JJ Rakaza. Here we are at the range, and just like last time, we're gonna build on efficiency in your shooting, what I call high-speed marksmanship. There are two techniques. One is the flat line, and the other one's bump line transition. And that's what I call it. Um, there, there may be better names for it. I just, English is not my first language, but um, this is what I came up with, and you guys are gonna follow with me. Um, I'm gonna draw it out on the floor, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it looks. And then I'm gonna demo it live, and then I'm gonna show you guys in slow, and how it looks in terms of 100% speed. So what I'm gonna show here is I'm gonna draw it on, on, on the ground here to show you guys the two different techniques. One is efficient, the other is inefficient. I'm gonna talk about the inefficient way first. All right, so let's say these are your targets, right? Flat line transition means you're firing the gun, firing your second shot. Let's just go around with, uh, let's go with two rounds per target. Firing the first shot, the gun goes in recoil, you come back on target, you fire the second shot, and you come back on the same target as kind of like a follow through before you move and transition. Then you do that all over again. As you can see, I call this flat line because it's very flat all the way across. That's inefficient because once you fired and the second shot is fired, you've already committed that that gun and that round is hitting that target and you're coming back onto it instead of taking advantage of the dead space, the dead time when the gun wasn't ready to fire, when you weren't ready to fire. So the efficient way um, to do it would be fire the first shot, come back down. As you fire the second shot, while the gun's on recoil, while you're reacting to it, you start bringing and driving the gun over to the next target. And somewhere around this point, eyes muzzle trigger, obviously, right? Eyes muzzle trigger. Somewhere around this point, I start to prep my trigger. So by the time I'm, I see it somewhere in the center, I'm able to fire my, trigger, my gun and to come back on recoil and do it all over it again. Reset and prep on before the gun comes back. By the time I land here, fire the second shot, comes back, and as you can see, this curvature here is the efficiency in movement, and really all I'm doing is giving myself more time on target. Instead of shooting fast, I'm moving a little bit more efficiently. And as I'm gonna, what I'm gonna show you is you're gonna see the rate of fire, and if I have a pack timer, you can see the exact time um, in terms of differences of, um, between one technique versus the other. All right, so you guys just saw it. Pay attention to the differences. What you saw there was me spending more time on trigger and shooting and more time on target actually with my sights as opposed to the flatline transition where I got stuck in the hole. Make sure you get out of the hole. And the way to practice this is about timing. It's called stimulus response. Responding to that stimulus of the gun going off, driving the gun back to the next target, using your legs, using your knees, pointing yourself to the neck and addressing the next target. Try it out, see the difference in your shooting and start paying attention with it with your pack timer, keeping yourself honest. See you guys next time. Yeah.